several weeks and include opening statements, closing arguments, and witnesses will be called to testify and can be cross-examined. The jury is the 31-member state Senate. A two-thirds majority or 21 of 31 senators voting against Paxton is needed for conviction or the Senate could vote by a simple majority to dismiss the charges. Paxton's wife, Senator Angela Paxton, is not allowed to vote. Well, it's time to get your running shoes on because Danielle has an event that's going to make us run. <laughs> There? You don't sound excited. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not Yay. a fan of running. Yeah. Well, you know what? You can walk to it if that's okay. I'm down. Okay, count <laughs> All me right. in. I'll put my walking shoes on. Then. That is perfect. I hope you've heard the jokes about the marathon runners, Adam, because if not, uh, you know, you're going to have to go to this event anyway. I'll jog your memory. Don't worry. Oh it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good one, okay? <laughs> uh, see, William B. Travis Middle School is going to be inviting the entire Rio Grande Valley. Yes, Adam, you're invited. <laughs> it's a special run and walk event. I'll definitely be walking. <laughs> it's a great way, though, to officially kick off the new school year, which recently, of course, began. Now, everyone from students to their families to the staff and all our local community is welcome to take part. And the goal here is really to promote healthy living and active living, uh, as well as just encourage overall positivity when it comes to a bright new academic school season. Running, after all, is a great way to take charge of your health and engage in a healthier lifestyle in general. Runnersworld.com says that it can help us live longer, reduce the risk of a variety of cancers and other diseases, improve our joint health, and so much more. Of course, it can help mentally as well with things like reducing our stress levels, and running does not really cost that much, if anything at all. All you need really is some shoes and the will to get out there. And participating in this event is a great way of taking in, you know, just the sights of Fireman's Park over in McAllen. It's going to be outdoors, of course. We'll have to ask Jessica what the weather's going to be like for that, but uh, don't worry. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a great community event for sure for everyone to check out. It's all going to be going down tomorrow with a kickoff time, uh, 7 a.m. sharp, and you can check out info on what you can do to join in on the walk or the run by visiting runsignup.com. And again, the theme is to, you know, to this event, rise and thrive. So let's keep that in mind as our RGB students dive into this new and amazing school year. It should be a bright one for everybody. So again, guys, this is a pretty cool event to check out because it's going to encourage people to get up and get active instead of just, you know, staying home watching TV like I do. <laughs> but again, you don't have to run. You can also walk. Yeah. Well, you work out. We all do. We've started this. this I, yes. You guys more than I yesterday. do. You did. This is also a great opportunity to be able to go outside and yeah. do so. And it, you said it's in the morning tomorrow? Yeah, 7 a.m. sharp. So that's going to be the best time of the day where it's actually a little bit cooler outside. And we should still have drier conditions too, so it won't be so muggy. Cool. That's cool. So I'm all for this. <laughs> Running and walking is so good for you. We talk yeah. about getting our steps in. Yeah. And it sounds like this is also for a great cause. Yeah. So you're, it's good for you. It's good for the community. It's good all around. Yeah, rise and thrive. I like that. I know. I feel like that's what we do. We rise and thrive at three. Three a.m. Sometimes I thrive. Yeah. Actually, actually, no, you thrive every day, Jessica. Oh, You're thank awesome. you. Yeah, but we actually are earlier than that because we get here by three. Yeah. We, get, we wake up earlier. Yeah, so. exactly. And again, We're this is thrivers. at McAllen Fireman's Park. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Tomorrow. a good chance to check in. You know what? I'm sure that you can also bring your furry friends out there. You know, so why? Why got to exercise alone? Bring the bring the best friends. Yeah, and it's seven a.m. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we have to like finish here and run to McCallum. <laughs> Literally <laughs> run to the run. I have my uh, running shoes on. I don't know if you can see. Nice. <laughs> I don't have running shoes on right now. Do better. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's great. Well, I do have your day planner for today. If you want to train up for that race tomorrow, Great condition. It is going to be hot this afternoon, so if you go for a walk anytime when the sun is up, you're going to want to make sure you put on that sunscreen. If you're going to go out tomorrow, I'd recommend that sunscreen as well. Temperature is getting up to that 100 degree mark this afternoon. No.